got this. Are you okay, ma'am? You look terrible. I'm fine. Where's Dad? He got an early start. Go on, you're going to be late. What's going on? I don't know. Yes, you do. Tell me. Aya. Aya. Can I have a word? Yeah. We're well private. I'll catch you up, Em. I'm sick of secrets. Chicken talker. What do you want? D. What about her? She's dead upset about you quitting a wine bar last night. Well, Eric never gave you much choice. It's got nothing to do with D. Yeah, 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 but she's worried you're gonna go off her. What? Come on, mate. She fancies the pants off you. Don't wind me up, Marlon, all right? I'm not in the mood. As if, as if. She more or less asked me to set up a meeting between the two of you. Did she? You just name the time, the place, leave the rest to Marlon the matchmaker. So it's just a coffee, is it then? Are you not hungry? Oh, I'm hungry, Mrs. Eggleton, uh, but not for food. Right. Hang on. It's uh, Helen Aykroyd, hot and career. Do you know, I thought I knew your face. <laughs> so, uh, what is it you're hungry for then, eh? <laughs> Hi, Cathy. I bought you my homework. Um, I'm a bit busy right now, Sam. Oh, but you said you'd check it before I go to my next class. Did I? Um, later. Sh shall I save it till tonight, then? Yeah, sure, tonight. <laughs> so, what you're saying is that Mrs Glover Everything actually... all right, Betty? Oh, Cathy, love. Miss Aykroyd? Problem? No. Why? Mrs Eggleton seemed to be taking a long time with her order. Ah, one pot of coffee. That's what I call checkbook journalism. Hiya. Hi. Well, how's your cellar? All dried out yet? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't recognise you with them. Well, with my clothes on. No, out of uniform. Well, I'm on my way to the station. Shall I come back when I'm uh, dressed? No, no, it's okay. Um, I've grown out of my fireman stage. <sighs> not, I'm not glad to see you. Oh, good. Coffee, tea, on the house. Tea, please. Zoe, hi. Sorry I'm late. No, I'm okay, but uh, Tony and I have been up all night. Yes. Yes, I told him about us. On the phone to your girlfriend. Don't let me get in the way. I'm not stopping. Just came back for some kit. Where are you going? Germany. What? I'm leaving for Germany today. Tony, the two of us have got to talk. Us? There is no us, Becky. Hiya, you're on your own? No, she's not. Please, come in. What is it you wanted to see my wife in private about? Uh, uh, nothing. Fine. Well, far away then. <sighs> Come on, don't try my patience. Why? Wife, what are you going to do? Sack me? I don't think you can afford to lose two skivvies in as many days. Oh, I... so that's the reason you come to plead for your fellow worker. I didn't realise the Dingle Library extended to Das Kapital. Uh, save your snotty jokes, Eric. You were out of order sacking one. But I did. And don't fool yourself, Marlon. Skivvies are ten a penny. Karl Marx covers up in the first half of the book. See you later, Danny. What are you doing with him? Is that why you came? To ask Eric for Will's job back? Of course not. I came because Will wants to say sorry to you. Well, Eric won't be back for a few hours. Tell Will he can come at lunchtime. Uh, no, no, he, he, he's doing something else then. He says, can you meet him at the, the sports pavilion, about eight-ish? Oh, it won't be easy. He's dead upset, Dee. OK, I'll try my best. Tell him I'll be there. You can't just disappear. Watch me. Well, what do I tell the kids? Uh, how about I'm having a lesbian affair with Zoe Tate? They can fill in the details for themselves. No, that wouldn't suit you, would it? You want me to take the blame, just like I always do when this so-called family screws up. That's not fair. No, it's not. I've just realised it never was. It's not fair on you. Where... You, you, you. You know, I've done some thinking over the last couple of hours, comparing myself with all the other fathers I know, all the other husbands, wondering where I'd gone wrong, why my family was such a disaster and theirs aren't. I couldn't get an answer. And then, for the very first time, I asked myself something. Maybe it's not me that let us down. 
What did you decide? It's not up to me. You're a big girl, Becky. You decide. I'm sorry. There is nothing funny about an old lady being trapped in a toilet for 12 hours. No. Very serious matter. <laughs> you are wicked. Yeah, well, so are you. No, I'm not. You don't know me. I'd like to. Make you a nice guy, but... No, look, I'm not getting heavy. Do you fancy a drink? That's all I meant. That is never all a man means. Hey, I'm a gentleman, remember? I rescue old ladies trapped in toilets. I don't know, um... Look, how about I bring my mate Jez over, eh? You bring one of yours. A double date? Come on, I am not 17. Yeah, well, me neither. We could have a laugh pretending, though, eh? Go on. Uh, I'll give you a ring later. Hello? You all right? Joe. Sure. Shall I do this? No, I'm fine. Uh, Zoe, what are you doing? It's shredding her infected teeth. She's in for the abscess on her leg. Becky! I'll do this. Well, I hope you're grateful next time you're chomping on a nice, juicy bone. Bye. Thing. Sum it up with the phone, Eric. <laughs> Has your boundless intellect now extended to the world of telecommunications, man? No, 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 it's just that um, I noticed you're trying to press it. I think it was the uh, the redial button, but it's it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> now, why on earth would I want to do that? <laughs> That's just what I was thinking. I mean, D, with the last person to use the phone, why would you want to make the same call? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, you made yourself plain this morning. You don't want to speak to Will, but D wants to meet up with him, then it's, uh, well, it's up to her, isn't it? No, I have just... Is there anything I can do? Not unless you can turn back time. Working on that one. I don't know how I let this happen. What? Don't give up the day job, Paddy. So she's told Tony everything? Mm-hmm. And? He's gone to Germany. <laughs> As you do. But great place to cheer yourself up, Germany. It is not funny. I know. He'll come back. Will he? Why? Well, because if I was Tony and Mandy was Becky and Mandy... I'd found out she was having a thing with another woman. Yes? Yeah, all right. Tell me. Is my wife here? <gasps> I said, is my wife uh... here? Yeah, all right, Tommy. Oh. Sorry, Paddy. I couldn't bring myself to hit a woman. Not even you. Where is she? I don't know. <laughs> You've fallen for it too, eh? What? Her damsel in distress, eh? Get off my property! Get out of my no. way! No. Why? Will I make you feel like a man again? No! No! For God's sake, stop it! I love you, son. I know.
broken down? Fine, thanks, Jack. Just looking at the village. I take it for granted. Pretty as a picture, eh? Uh, from a distance. Yeah, well, everything looks better from a distance. Especially when you are sort of age. What can you do about it? Face it, I suppose. Either that or don't look. <laughs> Thanks for stopping, Jack. Any time. What, Eric? What do you see? Well, obviously he didn't mean to leave this lying around. That's true. And the only reason why you're looking at the prices of flights to the Philippines is because you want to fly to the Philippines. That's true, too. Which brings me to one conclusion. You, uh, you want to leave me? Or maybe I'm feeling homesick. Maybe I want you to meet my family. Now why would you want to keep that a secret? Because I know that you don't want to go back to the Philippines. I thought if I surprised you, if I arranged it all behind your back, you'd have to come. I wish I could believe that. Hello, it's uh, Mrs. Pollard. We spoke a few minutes ago. Could you tell me those flight details again? Yeah, I can hold. Hello? Uh, I know this is Mr... I see. And, uh, that's for two. Thank you. I don't want to leave you, Eric. I just want to see my mother. And I want her to see you. Can I uh, get your point? Little debate of closing. I'm not greedy like some folk. Look, I know I bought your tractor. Boat? Stole more like the price you paid. It was a farm sale. I've done nothing wrong. Why are you sucking up to me now then? Pity is it, a guilty conscience. Either way, I'm not interested. I'm just trying to be friendly, that's all. Oh, yeah. Why? Because I'm a farmer the same as you. I've had me lean years as well. Who hasn't? Aye. <clears throat> so, if I can't get you a drink now, will you meet me and Sarah in here tonight? I might, love. I might. <laughs> me from dad. I was protecting him, not you. I didn't want him to leave with a guilty conscience. Personally, I think you deserved a slap. Well, well, didn't you? What would you do if he'd done this to you? It's hard enough for me to understand that you've had an affair. Never mind with another woman. I think I wanted it. I don't know. Of course I didn't. Then how has this happened? I couldn't help it. Have you ever heard of self-control? You're young. Don't patronise me. When you fall in love, really fall in love, you'll understand. Self-control flies out the window. What's your favourite film, Mum? Favourite what? Film. Brief Encounter, isn't it? So what's the story about? I'll tell you. It's about a woman who meets a man and falls in love with him. But she's already got a husband. A decent bloke. A bit boring, but he loves her. And so do her children. So what does she do? Eh? She ends the affair. Even though it breaks her heart. It's a film, Will, a film. But it's your favourite. You cry every time. Why? Stop it, Will! Why are you doing this to me? 
Because I'm not gonna let you have this both ways. If you're in love with Zoe, fine. But next time you watch the film, don't you dare cry. Because you're just a selfish cow. Mum? Hi, sweetheart. What's going on? Why is Dad? Germany. Already? Just for a few days, he's uh, got to find somewhere to live, you know. So why are you crying? Why am I crying? I suppose because I like my family all around me. Mum. <laughs> I'm a big silly, aren't I? You're dizzy. It's hot in here. Um, go upstairs and have a lie down. We can manage. Oh, no, it's okay. We're busy. No, but I insist. <laughs> Actually, um, I prefer some fresh air. Um, I'll go for a walk. Sorry. Um, I won't be long. Where's Deagle? She's uh, feeling faint. I've gone for a walk. All oh, right, a walk. Well, they're late. They are, aren't they? Why are we so nervous? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. He's gone. Thank goodness for that. I thought there was a special reason you wanted me to come here. There is. Be patient. Why? You'll see. Give it a glass. Uh, this is something. Hello. It's right nice of you and your husband to invite me out for a drink. It's our pleasure, Mr. Althwaite. Have a seat. Oh, Tom. I can't take much more of this. Well, what are we going to do? Ooh, dial 999? <laughs> no need. Well, mine's all right. Not too sure about yours. What time is it? Nearly ten past. Oh, I'm sorry, well, I've got to go. The wine bar's really busy. Eric was very suspicious. Oh, please, Dee, just a couple more minutes. Feels like you're the only friend I've got at the moment. Oh, don't be silly. What about your family? Oh, them. We're a nuclear family, you know. I've heard that expression. What does it mean? Husband, wife, 2.3 children. Oh. Unless that nuclear family happens to be called Cairns. Then it means explosive, destructive, totally poisonous. Oh, well. <sighs> no, we had a female firefighter on our watch once. She was a useless fat lump. <laughs> That is so sexist. Weren't you, Mick? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'm all for women doing whatever they want, so long as they're up to the job. Need a bit of brawn in our game. You certainly don't need brains. Now who's being sexist? I've got brains. <laughs> oh, aye. You can read and write, you know. Joined on a good day. <laughs> now, Cathy, you'd make a great firefighter. Oh, I don't know. I'm not brawny enough. We could find a way around it. <laughs> Same again, girls. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'll just have a mineral water. It's all right. I'll tell him. Thanks. <laughs> what? Well, you're not sat there as Yorkshire's biggest gooseberry. It's a blind date. Well, you certainly seem to have recovered your eyesight. I'm teasing him. Teasing? If you flutter your eyelids anymore, you'll blow the windows out. He's a cloud mouth. Yeah, but he's lovely. OK, so I fancied him when he walked in. I don't anymore. Well, I flipping do. Great. Cos you know what? He fancies you. So, you really wouldn't mind if he asked me out? <gasps> Believe me. What do I do next? Just keep smiling. <laughs> do not bite yet, Harry. <laughs> no. Well, what are you going to have a look for? Of course, we are packed. They're on the 
main course is. Desserts are plated up, I can manage. Oh, I suppose so. Well, where do you reckon? Well, where would you go if you wanted a bit of peace and quiet? Lapland. La is that the, uh, the club in Leeds where the table dancers dress like elves? Don't know. It's a joke. Humor, Eric. No, where would you go around here? Hmm? It won't be long. <laughs> Don't bank on it. Sorry, I should have phoned. No problem. How are things at home? Awful. Will gave me 40 lashes of his tongue and... I... I just can't bring myself to tell Emma the truth. Well, you're going to have to. I know, but not tonight. Tonight, I just want to be here with you. I need to know that someone still loves me. Your kids love you, Becky. I'm just angry, that's all. It'll pass. I hope so. When they see that I'm happy for the first time in my life. And they get used to the idea of you and me being a couple. Slow down, you're way ahead of me. When did we become a couple? What have we said since all this began? No big dramas. And then all of a sudden you change the rules without even asking me. I'm sorry, Zoe. I just can't help it. I love you. You've just got a crush on me. And <laughs> we've had some fun. I don't believe I'm hearing this. I've wrecked my marriage for you. Jeopardised the love of my kids. <sighs> You're telling me it was just a bit of fun? Did I ever tell you it was anything else? I'm sorry you're having such a horrible time, Will. I wish I could help. You can. No. Why? Because I'm Eric's wife. Maybe if we've met before, before... Before he bought you? Well... Sorry, Dee. It's just I want you to be happy. Everyone's got a right to be happy. Oh, look, where I come from, people don't have anything apart from each other. If we did just as we please, we'd have nothing at all. But you're not there now. Yes, I am, Will. I am. Have you ever seen Brief Encounter? Brief? It's a film. Mum's favourite. Take care, Will. <laughs>